I've started to revisit some of my old videos, just doing Patreon specific releases of extended versions of some of my uh, videos that I've done over the past several years and gonna put up the, the raw footage for my patrons that want to see more. In this little video, I found an old film of old TV commercials. I'm going to show you guys this and there'll be lots more to come. So this is my old 16 millimeter setup from, uh, th this actually came from CBC when they used film. This is an actual proper Telecine 16 millimeter sound projector. It has a five blade uh, shutter. And um, what it results in is completely flicker free operation. <laughs> Notice a sign that says, please load gently. Actually, I had two of these machines and I, I sold this one. Um, both of the machines came from CBC television when they were using film for their news camera work prior to videotape, right? So they, these would have been used right up into the, uh, right up to, I would say the, you know, the probably the mid to late seventies. And then they upgraded to, uh, to newer, better machines. And, uh, these two machines went to Delta cable television, which is a, a cable TV company that I worked for. Uh, back in uh, 1979 through about 82, I was working in the, the TV production side and we actually used these projectors to run public service announcements over the air between uh, programs. All the PSAs came in on 16 millimeter film. I picked up one of them when they, when they retired the 16 millimeter projectors. I picked up one of them and one of my coworkers, he picked up the other and uh, anyway, he gave me this projector and uh, I cleaned it up and sold it. But before that, I figured I would I would run it and and uh, and see what we've got on here. And he also gave me some a collection of films. And this particular one here, I, I I can't show this one on YouTube because YouTube has blocked it because this particular film is actually a propaganda film from World War II. It's actual combat footage, and I I did put it up on my channel. And um, YouTube took it down because they said it was it was outside their guidelines for um, for um, what would be permitted because I don't know it showed Japanese um, Mitsubishi Zeros being shot down over over Pearl Harbor in a dogfight and and some other uh, some other stuff that was done. These were just actually a newsreel film, so it actually has. You know, I, I would say some significant historical value, but that beside the point, YouTube wouldn't let me put it up, so that one's gone. But I have some other films, and I'm going to show one of them here tonight, and it's vintage TV commercials. So we're going to load that film up, and I'm going to run some vintage TV commercials here, and um, some of these other ones that I've got will go up on my Patreon channel. But anyway, I'm going to be re-editing some of my older videos, um, and they're going to go for my patrons, so if... If you're thinking, sitting on the fence thinking, should I be a patron or not? Uh, I'm just giving you guys a heads up that I'm going to start putting some a bunch of stuff up that is for Patreon uh, uh, viewers only. It's not that I'm going to stop producing um, content for everyone, but uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be doing two versions. I'll be doing a condensed short version that's going to go public, and then I'll be doing a much longer in-depth version of the same video that uh, will show a lot more of stuff that gets cut out because there's a lot of stuff that does uh, get cut while I'm uh, uh, in the editing process just for, for time. So um, anyway, I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing. I'm going to load this thing up here and we're going to take a look at some vintage TV commercials that I think you guys might get a kick out of. Spice Father's Day contest. Entry forms available wherever Old Spice products are displayed. Creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers are so much fun. Playing cat and everybody. All you need to 
make a bug. It's a tool maker set and electric plug. Or plastic tool right in the mold. Then trade up, sell up. Good as gold. You can tell they're Mattel. They're pretty colors, pretty colors, pretty colors. Now you can have fun making flowers. With Mattel's new fun flower stain maker. You get genuine plastic, molds, everything you need. You can make flowers to green or mix them up. Even make flowers with faces. Because they're fun flowers. Get Mattel's new fun flower stain maker. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. Looks like a million. And there's the little lady who's responsible. Not that she did the painting, mind you, but she was the one that discovered something totally new in exterior paints. Hydrolin. Hydrolin lets you paint directly over the old surface. No special preparation. No primer is needed. And it just flies on. You get the protection, beauty, and durability of conventional oil paints, plus the time-saving convenience of water cleaning your brushes, rollers, hands, and clothes. Hydrolin resists dirt, staining, mildew, and weather. Keeps its just painted look for years. The amazing low cost of this wonder paint, just $7.95 a gallon. Ask about Hydrolin today at your paint dealer, or call George C. Henderson Paints, Trinity 91504. For complete information about the new wonder paint, Hydrolin. Get rid of smeary film on your windshield. Use Shield Bright, the greatest little window cleaner in the world. No mixing, no fussing, no measuring. Just pour into the reservoir. See? No dirt, no film. Just 35 cents and you can charge it with your gas. Shield Bright, available at all service stations. One car will arrange prompt fuel delivery from Co-op Petroleum Services. Clean burning furnace and stove oils and give absolute comfort. Reliable heating fuels for maximum heat per gallon. Co-op Petroleum Services owned and operated by the people it serves. I'm just going to jump in here. Uh, what you're seeing here, this is actually outtakes from a commercial. So there's no sound on this. This was just what they, what they shot and I guess wasn't used in the commercial. So there's some dry runs and practices here. From an old commercial that was, I would say this goes back to probably the 1950s or early 60s anyway, long before we had color TV. I should add that uh, this is not the typical quality that you would get off of a film like this. I was just shooting this off of uh, off the wall with my camera. I just set up the projector and just f actually I was using a, one of those Sony high gain screens I was playing around with. So this is not the proper quality. If I'd spent the time to set up my actual telecine chain, I would have got a lot better transfer off this. But this was just something I did when I got given this projector and these films. I wanted to see what they were was on there, so I just fired it a screen on the wall and uh, shot it with the camera.
Okay, today you probably wouldn't get away with giving your child some black shoe polish and a brush and say, okay, just get dirty, get polish all over you, you know, because of all the chemicals and stuff that are in there. I'm sure they'd have something to say about that. But this is the 19, uh, the 19, late 1950s or early 60s, you know, when back when they, in, when they thought that smoking cigarettes was good for you. You know, so no one thought about that, but they would never get away with this today. There's no way. So for my existing patrons, you're going to see unedited versions of some of my older videos as well as newer ones that I do. I'll be releasing two versions. I'll be releasing a version that's for the public, which will be a condensed version. And then there'll be a longer version of the unedited footage, including some of my frustrations of I curse at equipment, which sometimes happens when things don't work. And for the rest of you, if you want to see those uh, those videos, you'll have to become a, a, a Patreon subscriber, which costs as little as a buck a month. And I mean, it's just a way of, we're trying to figure out ways that I can try and increase the membership and rely less on YouTube's advertising. And that's basically what it boils down to. I'm in the same boat as everybody else, and we're all trying to figure out ways to uh, make a little bit more and, uh, you know, get a little better compensation for what we are doing here and certainly not working with YouTube with them every time they get a chance, demonetizing a video or clawing things back, and then people making outright fraudulent claims. Um, Royalty-free music is a good example, and uh, then you're, you're stuck with fighting and uh, fighting to try and get monetization status back or you know anyway um, I say patreon membership little as a buck a month then you'll have access to the content you'll get and we have our own little forum there where we can talk um, I don't want to see people if, you, if I start seeing a bunch of comments in the in the comments to this video about how they hate patreon and they're never going to subscribe and the whole bit I'll disable the comments because they're counterproductive I'm just stating what what's going to happen is that I'm not abandoning my um, public channel and there's going to be just as much content released as ever but there's going to be extra content released for patrons and if you are one of those type that have to see the extra footage the bonus footage you'll have to be a subscriber and I don't want to hear anybody whining and complaining about it because you know what you don't have to subscribe you can watch the short version anyway that's all I'm gonna say on that uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let this film play right through to the end. I, I, I take it these were tests, these are samples. Um, the, I don't know who the filmmaker was on this. Um, it was done, you know, probably before I was born. I'm guessing probably the late 50s, maybe the early 60s. So I just was given this film. I thought, yeah, I'll just throw this up and let you guys see it. And uh, we'll invite you to the Patreon channel at what you see on the screen right there on the screen that's where you can uh, help me out by patreon <laughs> 